Aveda Texture Tonic versus Damon Barber Texture Tonic. This is Brand Battle. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to Brand Battle, the series that puts two competing products head to head in the ultimate showdown. That literally just like comes off my tongue right now. Um, anyway, this one's all about pre-stylers. We've got two products that have got exactly the same name, Texture Tonic. So really, they are well matched. Now, as you guys know, we have got a series of points right here. And the points differ depending on how much sort of weight we put on that category. There are 20 points up for grabs. Let's do this. Now, the first product we've got is Aveda. Now, you'll know that I absolutely love Aveda products. They are big on ingredients, as we're gonna see. And also, in terms of performance, I think they do really well. Now, this one says, it's to define and enhance natural texture and create PC definition that looks effortlessly undone. Then we have got the Damon Barber product, which is a British brand. And again, they've got the Texture Tonic, released actually around about the same time as this one. And this one says, our Texture Tonic is a sea mineral and plant protein spray, which not only gives the control and texture of a sea salt spray, but adds volume to the hair by thickening each strand from root to tip. And that's exactly what we're looking at in this brand battle. We want loads of texture from these products. We want volume. We want to be able to use them as standalone so you can use them without any styling product. And we also want to see how they work as a pre-seller before a styling product. Now, straight into ingredients. Dave and Barber say this product is free from parabens and nasty chemicals and all our ingredients are sourced from the UK. Uh, you can see this in the ingredients here. It is water-based, but then you do have alcohol, uh, magnesium sulfate, polysorbate, various other things. Um, it's actually really hard when you put something up against Aveda because they are known for their ingredients. And this is free from parabens, mineral oil, petrol atom, formaldehyde, animal ingredients, and synthetic fragrance. And they actually say that 94% of the stuff in here is naturally derived. So guys, there is, it's an easy one. The points go to Aveda. Now into packaging, they are kind of similar, you know, spray bottles, I, I don't mind them at all. Aveda's kind of gone back to its sort of roots here. It's, it's quite 90s with this sort of squiggle, which I don't really get, versus Damon Barber one, which I really love them as a brand. I think it's a really strong brand. It looks great. And it actually looks, you know, quite premium. So for me, the point goes to Damon Barber. Now into smell, the Damon Barber product smells insanely good. This this actually is amazing. They use their signature scent, which is Oud and Egyptian Mallow. It's almost like, if you can think of a Tom Ford fragrance, the private blend ones, the ones that just smell so luxurious, this is this in a little bottle. And when you're spraying it, that's heightened. Versus the Aveda one, which smells really botanical and fresh. It's got ginger in it, ylang ylang, and clary sage. Um, I really do like this, but this one, definitely gets the point for this. Now, into ease of application, they are both spritzing bottles and they're applied really very easily. I would say actually though that the mist on the Damon Barber is actually easier to direct the hair. If you've got longer hair, uh, then the Aveda one's probably better, but I prefer the ease of application of Damon Barber. Now, for styling guys, I have used these as a pre-styler. I've done it as a pre-styler, then I've tried it as a styling product, but we really want to see how easy this is to work. The Damon Barber product is very easy to use. It's really responsive. Work that volume through your hands or with a brush, and it dries really very quickly. Versus the Aveda one, which again is super responsive, and you can really start to feel the volume being built in. I would say that the Aveda one, you can actually feel the product more. There's more of a texture to it, and uh, it, it just feels slightly more responsive in the styling. So the points go to Aveda. Now finish gets a massive five points in this one because it is the most important. You know, we want hair that has got loads of texture. This is what they're supposed to do. Now the Damon Barber one does give really, really good texture. The hair looks clean, it looks matte, it looks texturized. Versus the Aveda one, which again gives this huge volume, loads of texture. And actually, when touching my hair, it feels like it's got a slight grittiness to it. And not in a sort of dirty way, but in a, in a texture way. So for me, just because it gives the biggest volume, the best texture, the point for finish go to Aveda. And if you just want to keep your hair down, then that would be you there. But if you want to go on and use these as a pre-styler, so, you know, hair that's got texture to then go on and use a pomade or a clay, 
then this is what I've done here. And I've used exactly the same clay product into the hands, worked through, just to kind of see how these respond. Um, also, in the times I've been using these, I have used them with various different products, and they do work in a very similar way. But, because it's got a better finish, it actually works better as a pre-styler. So, the points go to Aveda. Now, I have removed washability from this because they both slip out, no bother. And also, guys, I really do use these as pre-stylers. So, I've skipped that and I moved straight on to price and value. The Damon Barber product is 100 mils versus the Aveda product, which is 125 mils. Now, I found this product for £19.95, which works out at roughly 20 pence per 100 mils, versus the Aveda one, which retails for about 22 pounds or $25, which works out at roughly 18 pence per 100 mils. I should also say, guys, that the Aveda one, just because it is a huge company, is more readily available and you guys across the globe will be able to find this far more easily. So based on that and also the value, the point goes to Aveda. So there we have it, our verdict. With four points, we've got Damon Barber versus 16 points for Aveda. This one, uh, although it looks like the points are like it's so hard when anything goes against Aveda. The ingredients are amazing. The performance is like second to none. But Damon Barber is a really great brand and I love what they're doing. A lot of their skincare is actually really, really solid. This is amazing and I also love their clay pomade. And um, I would also say, you know, if you're someone that wants texture but not too much texture or volume, then you will love this. And also it smells so great. But this is a fave. I absolutely love it and I think it's well deserved to be winning this one. But there you go, guys. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Next week will be a bit of a sort of a roundup of brand battle, what we've seen in season three, and kind of look ahead to what we've been doing in the next season, whenever that will be. But thank you very much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe. By the way, someone always says I point in the wrong places, so I'm gonna try this. Press subscribe there. There's also more video suggestions down there, I hope. There's a link to my blog there. Podcast and Instagram are there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.